I wanted to take a few minutes to look at um, a resource that is really useful for anybody that's researching our ancestors uh, who may have served in the Great War. So this is the national role of the Great War, uh, the Birmingham section. Now, there are around about 20 books in this series and each one uh, goes through a different, a different region of the UK. Uh, and details just about every man uh, and woman who served in the Great War. Now, that's whether they lived or died. So pretty much everybody should be in this book. Now, I'm sure that they probably missed a few, but generally speaking, more or less everybody's in here. Now, it's worth mentioning that a great deal of the people mentioned in this book died in the war. They made the ultimate sacrifice and actually uh, didn't survive and even more were wounded. So this book, this book really um, demonstrates the, the, the enormity, I suppose, of, of, how the, of how the war affected so many people. And if you can imagine the knock-on effect of the effect that that had on these, on these men and women, you know, it, 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 the ripples would have reached just about everybody in the United Kingdom. Now, you've only got to open this book and start to flick through it. And as you can see, it's name after name after name after name. And what really does it for me is the amount of names that there are that are very similar or the same. So you can see there, um, you know, Norton, which isn't a particularly common name. There's at least three or four on that page and then more on the page afterwards, I bet. And this is only one book, so it gives you an idea as to the enormity. I mean, the enormity of the task of actually producing these books, but also the enormity of the loss of life and sacrifice that would go um, along with this. Now, the reason that I bought it is because uh, I had two grandfathers, great grandfathers, I should say, who both perished in the Great War. Um, and I wanted to see whether they were in it. I kind of knew that they were because I checked online, but I actually wanted to have the physical, the physical copy of uh, of their of their um, epitaph, uh, for want of a better word. And for me, that was uh, that was really really important. And so I got this book, and and you know I I was actually really touched when I found the the section here, the little the little section. On my uh, on my great grandfather, D. Willock, David Willock, Lance Corporal, Second Royal Warwickshire Regiment, and then it gives you a little bit of a synopsis of his service, and this was invaluable to me because I knew so little in the beginning when I was researching him. He volunteered in January 1915, and after a few months' training, was drafted to the Western Front. There, he saw much severe fighting for about eight weeks and was then killed in action at the Battle of Luz on September the 25th, 1915. He was entitled to the 1914-15 Star and the General Service and Victory Medals, and then it gives David's address of 67 Foundry Road, Winston Green, Birmingham. What it doesn't tell you is that he had a wife called Minnie and he had four children. Minnie was left um, widowed to look after four kids. Um, and she struggled, but she did it. Uh, one of those children, David Jr., died of influenza, Spanish flu as it was back then, um, which uh, eventually, I think she lost, I think she lost two children. So she ended up with two, um, my uh, great uncle and my great, and my grandma, um, who grew up. And when they got to an age where they could look after herself, Minnie, um, Minnie committed suicide because she, couldn't cope with the loss of David and then on top of that her her children as well so the, the knock-on effect of the war um, really was profound in our family it, it I mean Minnie never served in the trenches but she had the trenches in her because that was what eventually contributed to her her death so the effects of the effects of of David's death were far reaching and you've only got to look at the at the scale of this book this one book which is one section of the country uh, and and all of these thousands of names in it and, and you wonder about the story behind these names 
you know, and what what that meant, the the heroism, uh, you know, the, the the pain, the hurt, the grief, the joy when they came back home, uh, if they came back home, and and you know the stories that were told for generations and generations afterwards. So, it's a book that is well well worth getting, relative to whatever region you're you're in. Um, I mean, just to pick another one here, this is no nothing to do with me, but just at random. Redfern T, MM, so that's Military Medal, Corporal, 5th Royal Berkshire, Berkshire Regiment. Volunteering in September 1914, he was sent to France in the following year and took a prominent part in the fighting in various sectors. He was in action at many important engagements, including those at Vimeridge, the Somme, Arras, Passchendaele and Cambrai and was wounded on three occasions and gassed once. He was awarded the Military Medal for Conspicuous Bravery at Cambrai on January the 12th, 1916, in addition to which he holds the 1914 Star and the General Service and Victory Medals. He was demobilised in February 1919. So this guy volunteered at the very beginning in September 1914 and fought his way through all four four and a half years of, of, of combat, serving in most of the major engagements and being decorated for bravery. Uh, he was, a, you know, a lowly corporal, if you want to use that term. Um, and, and yet he, he, he came back, he came back essentially a hero, wounded three times and gassed once. I bet he has some stories to tell, although he may well not have ever told them. Uh, some of them didn't. So that's just one name at random that I, that I saw just flicking through these pages. So what I would say is if you are researching your relatives uh, that may have served in the First World War, the national role of the Great War is well, well worth investing in. It really is. Um, you can find it online too. I quite like having a physical copy so I can go through it, you know, in my hands um, and uh, it's 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 something that is invaluable, um, both when researching your own your own people, but also um, you know just general research and just as a document to inspire. Or the the whole pile of these would come up to probably around about here. You know, th there's just a massive massive um, volume pile of these things, um, and that just gives you some scope as to how profoundly affecting and uh, massive this war was so thanks for listening everyone i uh, hope you find that useful and uh, if you do invest in uh, a copy of this and you've got good experiences of it or you find anything out please leave a comment and let me know thank you